Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. Uh, this video is all about uh, talking about the booster dose for COVID-19 vaccine. So India has approved the booster dose for COVID-19 vaccine. So I've been receiving questions whether uh, everyone should take a booster dose or not, what a booster dose really is and uh, whether this booster dose will help you in future times or not. So let me decipher these questions uh, separately for all of you. The very first question is that what is a booster dose? So the term booster means uh, doing it again to increase the efficacy of the vaccine which generally warns of or fades off over time. So for example, those who have already gone through the vaccination schedule that is two doses of vaccination either you took Covishield or you took Covaxin in India, we are talking about Indian vaccines, so two doses are done. So for those only the booster dose will be applicable. Because what happens is that the research that has been conducted found out that uh, these vaccines, particularly these RNA viral vaccines are not that effective for a long duration of time. They generally remain effective for three months to six months maximum. So generally we have a gap of three months between first and second dose. So after the second dose, gap of three to six months, the dose is good for you. And after that, you can still incur infection. And you can still incur infection from the same strain, you can still incur infection from a different strain and now as we know that the virus is being mutated and it will mutate further in future times, uh, Omicron, Delmicron, uh, there are different kinds of modifications will be there in future. So that can infect you and uh, the severity may not be that uh, much but it can infect you like any kind of flu or normal fever. So I think this is a time we stop thinking about that much because if you have proper dosage of vaccination, booster dose is a boon. So after three to six months, after even six months of second dose of your normal vaccination schedule, you can take a booster dose to consider the fact that yes, your immune system uh, to let your immune system accustomed with the virus again, because in, in all these cases, in all those vaccine, we are simply inserting uh, the inactive form of the virus or dead form of the virus so our body produces antibody against it. So here once the second dose is over after three four months body forgets about that virus. So again you are introducing the particle so that the immune system start recognizing it and developing antibody. That is a booster dose that is basically the idea of a booster dose. Now there is a big question you can ask this question like I've got this question now like if that is the case Right. If that is the case, if booster dose is only good for 3-4 months or 6 months, then how like we need to take this dose throughout our lifespan to get us prevented from COVID-19. Yes, theoretically that is the idea. So that's why flu vaccines are not that good. Flu, we don't take flu vaccines particularly in India because it's 40-50% effective first of all. And second thing, you need to continuously take that every single season. So after 3 months you need to take the vaccine. which is tedious right it's not that easy job it's not something of a pill that you take and no side effects we know many people have side effects with the vaccines and even there is no side effect there will be pain in the vaccination side redness swelling and those things are there for two three days so why would somebody do that after every six months every three months right so basically the logic is if you want to if, if you need to take booster dose you need to take it after every three months because moderna study said that that booster dose is effective only for three months so after every three months, you need to take booster dose if you want to maintain this logic of booster dosing. Taking only one booster dose is not enough because we know in India, multiple uh, places, there, there are huge vaccination drive. Single dose vaccination is almost there over 115, 110 crore people and two dose is there also in huge amount. But still, there is a chance of spread, still new virus, still new mutations will come, it will spread. So I think it's illogical to take only one booster dose. Basically, there is no point of taking only single booster dose. If somebody needs to take booster dose, they need to take it after every three months, which is tedious. So I'm giving my opinion here. I'm not going to take the booster dose in that sense. If I had to take booster dose, I need to take it every, every three months, right? And if I don't want to take it, then I will not take it. Taking one booster dose will not help. That is the simple idea. Anyone can understand this idea. Okay, there is no big deal. But yes, booster dose will be necessary only in few occasions, particularly for healthcare professionals who are in constant touch with the COVID-infected people. 
they need to take the booster dose and single booster dose again will not be enough for them they need to continuously taking it until or unless this pandemic becomes smaller it becomes epidemic the scale of pandemic is huge the epidemic scale is small so once it becomes an epidemic and then slowly reduced then people stop taking it particularly healthcare professionals and someone who is in contact with covid-19 patients uh the frontliners all of them they are in the need of that and secondary people with comorbidity can go for it and that's what india did that's what our uh, that's what icmr decided and that's what they did that from january onwards they'll be giving the booster dose for two category of people one is the healthcare professionals primarily and secondarily the 60 plus comorbid patients that's quite logical but if you are thinking like whether you take it or not i already explained if you need to take it see booster dose will be available there i believe it's better that they make it available no, uh, like like a normal vaccine in the uh, like like a tet bag that is available in uh, medicine shops so that for example you are traveling uh, somewhere in the foreign in upcoming 3 4 months you can take a jab and go there to have a protection a sense of protection this is what you can do so right now the vaccination schedule for uh, booster dose is fixed after 9 months from the second dose of vaccine so that's what is fixed right now i'm making this video on 28th december 2021 and now 9th so that the 9th month after the 9 month of second vaccine dose people can start taking the booster dose and which people obviously frontliners healthcare professionals and the 60 plus people with comorbidity will take that but what i believe is more important than booster dose right now is the vaccines for children because the school call schools will open college will open and that is the time children must get vaccinated vaccinated because you know right now people are thinking of the omicron variant is there whether third wave will come third wave can come but omicron will not be that devastating remember i mentioned earlier in a video even before uh, the facts are clear that the omicron will be much uh, faster spreader and it it became a much faster spreader and that's what uh, virus will do in mutation so after omicron there are multiple mutations will come and even they will become even faster spreader but what happens is that right now in the whole indian population or the world population particularly in indian population we are talking about elderly is as vaccinated young adults are vac- vaccinated only the children are children are not vaccinated so the host so for virus we are all host so virus will always try to find a healthy host so we are excluding everybody and the children are left as a host so we we pray that it should not happen that there is some mutation that starts spreading rapidly in children that will be a big problem i think we should start to think about that and start to vaccinate our children faster better than taking booster doses to all those young adults and healthy individuals who have already gone through the two doses of vaccination schedule that's my opinion and i believe that clears your doubt about the booster dose and when the booster dose is starting who are taking the booster dose and whether you should take it or not okay so that's it if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye